Ladies and gentlemen, the Eden Prize, which was created by Mr. Charles Chen Eden five years ago, exists to create a better world through education. Every year, we champion individuals or teams who bring game-changing ideas into education research and education development. They are shaping a brighter future by transforming how we teach and learn. As judges, it is our privilege to review work that's changing lives. This year, we ask for a short video submission from every nominee. It was our great pleasure to hear directly from them about their projects and plans. We thank them for sharing their extraordinary passion and dedication with us. And we are grateful for every nominator and supporter's time and effort in sending us so many excellent nominations. And now it is my honor to introduce our 2021 Eden Prize laureates. Please join me in congratulating Professor Eric Hanshek, Paul and Jean Hanna Senior Fellow at the Stanford University and Hoover Institution, and Dr. Rukumini Banerjee, CEO of Prasam Education Foundation. Both are tackling a crucial piece of the education puzzle, improving quality of education and outcomes for learners. Eric's research has shown that, above all, it is a quality of education that underpins the economic health of their nations. Rukmini has led unprecedented work in understanding why some children aren't leaving school with essential reading and writing skills. Awarding just two prizes from an outstanding field is always a challenge, especially as we encourage the widest possible range of nominations. We don't set a narrow theme or geographical boundaries, and our judges bring with them broad spectrum of experience from around the globe. In this way, we can recognize work that has the greatest impact for the most learners, particularly those marginalized by poverty, disability, gender, inequity in other parts of life. Indeed, this year's judging process has been one of our most diverse yet. Our nominees are working on projects that span over 130 countries and territories. We reviewed more nominations from across Africa and Asia than ever before, making India our second largest source of entries after the United States. Our judging committee also grew. We are delighted to welcome five new judges, Ms. Vicky Colbert, Dr. Elizabeth King, Professor Chu Ho Lee, Ms. Kiram Beer Sechi, and Professor Chan Ming Shuran. In doing so, we added valuable new perspectives and strengthened the voices of both women and representatives from Asian regions within our group. Our judging panels met virtually across nine time zones, coming together to discuss big ideas from some of the world's brightest minds. Those ideas look at education from every angle, like policy, delivery systems, technology, inclusion. Nominees are rethinking education systems from top to bottom to tackle inequities and empower learners. 
And from those many themes, we saw two strong trends emerge. Education in society, the focus on teaching. Indeed, transforming teaching to close achievement gaps lies at the heart of both our laureates' projects this year. We look forward to sharing more about the themes, impact, and the potential of our newest laureates' projects. For now, Eric and Rukumini, we wish you a very warm welcome to the Eden Prize community. Our judges and secretariat, your fellow laureates, and our Council of Luminaries are all delighted you are joining us in our mission of creating a better world through education. And we look forward to hearing more about your plans for your work at the December Summit.